Well, again, everybody, it's Plowboy, Plowboy's Ghost Channel. Well, today I want to get your opinion on something that I've already done, so it's a little too late to undo it. And therefore, I guess this is pointless. But anyway, I still want y'all's opinion and input because I want to make someone else co-responsible. Uh, it's a little late for that too, ain't it? Anyway, well, y'all know that I had a uh, Ruger... Super Black Hawk Bisley in 454 Kasu. And that's right, I used the past tense, the word had. Yesterday, I made a trade. This is a, um, of course, it's a Magnum Research Bisley, uh, Bisley, excuse me. Still got Bisley on my head, Magnum Research BFR. It's supposed to be a six and a half inch barrel, but that's the longest six and a half inch barrel I've ever seen. Uh, 454 Casu. Y'all, I'm here to tell you, there is a definitely a difference between this and the Ruger. I have a high opinion of Ruger's revolvers as far as strength goes, quality goes. But y'all, I have been considering for a while now that maybe I wanted one of these bfrs in either 475 line ball slash 480 ruger or maybe even the 500 line ball of course now i've seen that 500 gr jrh excuse me jrh 500 jrh here lately and i've been thinking on it a little bit my issue with that is the getting the brass i know buffalo boar's got some brass right now and i know you can cut down 500 smith and wesson brass but i don't know I don't know why Starline's letting uh, Buffalo Boar handle all the 500 JRH instead of selling them directly. But anyway, so I guess my point in this, of showing y'all this gun at this point, and I don't know how long I'm going to have this. Y'all, I got a Jones again for a uh, for a uh, another Schofield. I've let my Schofield go a while back. For technical reasons that I don't want to go into right now in case the person who has it's watching. Um, so anyway, in case the dealer who I got it from that sold it to me defective is watching. I don't want him to know the gun he sold me is defective is the same gun I traded to him that's defective. But anyway, so I've ended up with this and I don't know if I'm going to sell this to a buddy of mine. He, 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 he seems to want it. If he wants it, I've already told him I would. And therefore I will go through with it. If not, I'm going to hang on to this sucker, and I'm going to tell y'all right now, this will absolutely positively not be my last Magnum Research BFR. All those little hesitations I had for wanting, uh, for going ahead and going through with the, either the 475, 480, or the 500 line ball, or the 500 JRH, or even the 4570 long cylinder son of a gun, yeah, all that's over with. Now that I've handled one of these... I'm here to tell you the tolerances, the action, everything to me is just so much better. It's it's actually a lot better than the Ruger. And y'all, we all know that Ruger's revolvers are good. That's not saying anything bad about Ruger. That's saying a lot good about Magnum Research's BFR. This gun was built in August of 2011. It's a JT serial number prefix. I'm just now starting to learn what the hell that means, and I still don't know what that means. But anyway, y'all, I'm not going to shoot it today. Y'all know lately my showing off videos and my shooting videos are usually eh, one or two days, maybe a week apart, a few days apart, something like that. So anyway, we'll see what happens with uh, my buddy. If he don't buy this, and I'm kind of 50-50 on the fence of whether I want him to buy it or not, I will go through with it. And he will be getting a damn fine firearm. If not, I may just have me a collection of BFRs from more than adequate in the 454 Casu for anything on the planet to stupid adequate. Yeah, that's, yeah, I coined that. Stupid adequate. So anyway, I have no doubt that my my bucket, uh, my Pancho's cheese bucket of 454s with uh, gas check 300 grain lees. Over a big stout load of H110 will be just fine in this. Seems to me that there's more beef between the chambers in this cylinder than there was in the Ruger. So I'm good with that. Anyway, hey, y'all check out that new outro. You can't miss that.
Thanks for watching. Wait a minute, I said it twice. You'll see what I mean. They bury me down beneath the ground with the dust and rattling bones. See, it's a gun video. Thanks for watching. <laughs> also, I ain't driving. Sit still. It's a drinking video. Is this what you call a vlog? Hell, I don't know.